All right, people, what's up? Happy Thursday. We got a football game tonight, but uh, before we get there, we've got some numbers to crunch through. So we're going to be doing our pass coverage Thursday today, and the data is mostly what you would expect. Although I will say this, I have a question for you all, and I'm interested to hear what some of you guys think about this, because I'm pretty sure that I'm correct about something, but... I want to get other people's take on it. Uh, before I get into the data, I just want to say that I'll be streaming over on the Hawk's Nest tonight. should be 7 o'clock uh, Pacific, uh, West Coast. And we're going to be talking about this upcoming Falcons game. We're going to be pre previewing it. So if you want to see my initial midweek preview of the Falcons game, uh, hop on over there. And yeah, we'll, we're going to go for at least an hour tonight and we'll see where we land. All right. Now let's get to pass coverage uh, Thursday, and this first guy we're going to look at is my question. So Jordan Brooks had another rough day in coverage. That There's no two ways about that. He definitely gave up a few completions. He is now up to either 10 or 11 completions on 11 or 12 targets for the year. He's given up more yards than anyone else on this team by far in coverage. And now he has a touchdown on his head. And that's what I want to ask about. So the Ross Dwelly touchdown that the Niners had, the touchdown they threw to Ross Dwelly, um, I believe that that touchdown was on Jordan Brooks's head. It was Jordan Brooks's responsibility to drop back in coverage on that. He didn't and allowed Dwelly to get wide open. And the reason why I'm asking is that uh, PFR put that touchdown on digs. They actually said... Diggs was supposed to be in coverage on that play, and the touchdown is his responsibility. Watching the play, looking at other people talk about the play, trying to basically digest as much stuff as you can about that play, I don't see how it could be Diggs. But some people have argued it was Barton. Some people have argued it was the cornerback on that side. I can't remember if it was Jackson or Woolen. But either way, I want to hear what you guys think. Was it Jackson? Was it Woolen? Was it Kobe? Was it Barton? Was it Diggs? Or was it, as I think it is, Jordan Brooks? So I adjusted the numbers to account for that because I do believe it was on him. So yeah, 12 targets, 11 completions, 148 yards, and a touchdown allowed in coverage so far this year for Jordan Brooks. Not good. And it also shows we're not doing a good job of hiding him in coverage so far. Uh, Barton didn't do too much better, but another few completions, um, again, 10 for 10, so he's still at 100% completion percentage allowed, 87 yards, not nearly as bad as what Brooks is sitting on, but Barton was supposed to be the cover guy. Barton was supposed to be the guy who was good in coverage, and through two games, we're not really seeing it. Uh, granted, 10 targets, 87 yards is not the worst. But I'm not seeing any indication that he's really good at it. Maybe he's just not terrible at it the way that Brooks is right now. So Barton, uh, 10 completions, 87 yards. Eh. Uh, Daryl Taylor was not targeted in the 49ers game, so nothing changed there. Nwosu did give up a 10-yard completion. But uh, Nwosu, obviously an edge rusher, so the completions he gives up, for the most part, are things I'm willing to live with as long as they're not big plays, as long as they're not the result of missed tackles, which I don't believe is the case. And the other linebackers are clean. But uh, yeah, we still have a big problem here. Our linebackers are getting picked apart in coverage. And so far, it's hard to say that any of them are stepping up and doing anything about it. Cornerbacks. Uh, cornerbacks, decent. Uh, Sydney and Artie did not play. Apparently, we might be getting Burns back this week. We'll see. That'll be cool. Uh, Tariq Woolen was targeted quite a few times in this game. Let me check the edit history here to make sure. Yeah, he was targeted five times. He only allowed two completions, though, and he's up to 48 yards on the season. So his coverage metrics are good. 58.3 QB rating against. Now, the problem is the penalties. He's had penalties against him that account for more yards than he's actually allowed in raw coverage. So while these numbers look phenomenal, don't get me wrong, they do. The penalties are kind of canceling that out. But 
we expected this, or at least we should have expected this, right? He's a very young player, very inexperienced player. He's going to get penalties. Hopefully, as the years go by, by the time he's in year three, that stuff is gone, and he's just making plays on the ball the way he should. Uh, Michael Jackson had a pretty decent game. He uh, got targeted a handful of times. Let me check the added history here. Yeah, four, and he allowed two receptions, totally workable, and it wasn't for any huge plays either, 20 coverage yards. So I'm going to say Michael Jackson did his job fairly well. He was another guy with penalties, though. He's another guy who's committed some penalties this year that are holding his production back. So you look at the QB rating against of about 73, and that's good, but the penalties are kind of wiping that out almost. I, I, I think that you could say that without the penalties, these are great cover players, but with the penalties, they're passable, they're okay, they're workable, and they, they need to get better, and I think they will. Uh, Kobe Bryant, not really a good game from him. He had at least one penalty in coverage as well, and he gave up uh, three completions on four targets for, um, I believe it would be um, 25 yards. So not the worst, but he just doesn't look like a nickel corner to me. I, I don't blame the player. I think we're putting him in a bad situation right now. So if Kobe could in some way, shape, or form be removed from the nickel, if he could maybe become the outside corner that I believe he will be good at whenever he becomes that, I would appreciate it. But right now, I guess that's just where we need his services. I, I just don't, I don't see the skill set for it. QB rating against, by the way, still perfect, 158.3. Not what you want. Uh, Coleman did not play, so nothing new there, and neither did Reed, John Reed, and Ryan Neal played a little bit, but did not get targeted. So that just leaves us with the safeties. Yeah, so earlier I said that Quandre Diggs was docked for the touchdown by Ross Dwelly in the Niners game, but I look at the play, I don't think Diggs made the mistake. I, I really do believe it was Brooks. But do you guys feel differently? Do you guys think it was Diggs? Do you guys think it was somebody else? But regardless, I took the touchdown off here because it, it just doesn't really make sense to me that the biggest passing play of the day for the 49ers should be on Diggs' head if he doesn't deserve it. So you take that out. He was targeted once in coverage, did not allow a completion. So he's still sitting on eight yards from the Denver game, which it's two games, but it's actually really good for a safety. They're usually getting targeted deeper down the field. So Diggs is off to a good start in coverage, great start even. And Josh Jones, he got targeted a handful of times, I believe, yeah, three targets and one completion. So not bad in coverage either, 36 yards, but eight targets for 36 yards is totally workable. You're, you're, you've done very well for yourself if you've been targeted in coverage eight times and you've only allowed 36 passing yards. There are clear limitations to Josh Jones that are a little concerning, like he seems a little bit slow. He seems like maybe he's not going to be great against the run. There are some issues. So far in coverage, though, you got to say, pretty good. 62.5 uh, QB rating against. Very, very workable. And that's it for pass coverage Thursday. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I really want to hear what you guys think about the Ross Dwelly touchdown, who that was on. Uh, you guys know what I think. But um, what would you like to see different? What would you like to see new going into this upcoming Falcons game? Uh, what are we going to do about the linebacker problem? I mean, that, that's that been a thing for a little while now, and I was hoping this new defense would help, but through two games, it, it might be worse. It might be worse than ever. All right, I'll uh, see you guys later today. Peace out, go Hawks. Hope to see you later.